Okay, guys, in this uh, uh, lecture, we're going to learn how to remove stuff in case if we didn't want in our domain controller so on. For example, right now I'm going to uninstall Hyper-V in my Windows Server 2022. So the first thing is to you have to log into admin user, then server manager, then manage, remove rules and future. When you click here, click next. Um, of course, same domain next and then we can uncheck this one mean we don't want hyper v then click next next and restart if required and what we say is remove all right so as you see that in here uh, this feature gonna be removed uh, Hyper-V model for Windows PowerShell and Hyper-V GUI graphic user interface management tools Hyper-V management tools uh, and so on so this is how you can remove it is not only Hyper-V for example if you want to remove DCP if you want to remove DNS if you want to remove uh, file server RISE server so on so this is how you can remove it that's why I thought to share with all of you so what's gonna happen in the next moment you're gonna be witness of restart server and I'm gonna pause the video once this one is finished and I will show you what would be the next okay guys the server just restart and this is how you can um, uninstall or remove uh, um, any rules or any future uh, from your Windows Server 2022 have to wait and see if the Hyper-V is uninstalled or not. I'm going to pause the video until the Alt and the low prompts show up. All right, so uh, <laughs> it's okay. So this is my password. All right, beautiful, and um, so what it says in here is that the future removal, so view removal progress, the removal succeeds on your domain, which is wonderful. We can close as well in case, uh, let's close it. Uh, because we can run it in the background but it's already removed in here if it is red it is very bad we have to wait to see if it turns to green lights you know when you drive a car on the road it has four as green lights as one you guys are so happy include me I'm, I'm patient person as well but I know some people are impatient you know they just want all green light the same as in a technical in the technical department if you work in IT department almost everyone is looking for green lights if you get inside the data center if you get inside the server room and if you look at your hardware devices you you will expect the green light because the green light is healthy light if it is orange orange is a hazard I mean something is wrong with the server or network equipment and have it as red means something is dead. It is dead, dead, dead. Anyway, so the reason which we have a green in here is we have to come to flag. In here is still um, the future is going to be removed. It's not done yet, but once this one is complete, you will see that the service is going to be green as well. Okay, guys, this is how you can add, this is how you can remove uh, any rules or any features inside the Windows Server 2022 and I hope it was very helpful. Thank you guys.